artists. So I am going to show you some techniques in how to draw something, an item, uh, realistically. So maybe you want to find some objects, um, natural objects from outside, like sticks or leaves. Maybe you want to find a stuffy or a shoe or something in your house that you'd like to try to draw. Uh, so many different options. Um, hi. Hi, Poss. How'd you guys get here? You're right, I did bring you back from Kaler. And I brought you back from Dyer. Yep. You think I should try to draw you? And you too? All right, I think I'm gonna demonstrate drawing the two posses in this video. Okay, posses, I am going to draw you guys. We have Dyer Poss and Kaler Poss, and I think I'm going to start with Dyer Poss on the left, and I'm going to slide my paper over a little bit. Uh, Dyer Poss, I have some bad news for you. Well, I thought I was recording me drawing you, and I wasn't. So I've already finished the drawing, and there's no video of me doing it. That's okay, Miss Berman? Oh, thank you for understanding, Dyer Poss. Do you like it? You think I should draw Kaler Poss now? Okay, I will. So I'm gonna set you and your drawing off to the side over here. You can just kind of look at yourself. There you go. And I will bring in Kaler Poss. Yep, I'm gonna draw you now. All right, so when I am trying to draw something realistically, I don't want to think about it as the object that I know it is. Like I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm drawing you, Kaler Poss, even though I am. What I'm gonna try to do is just focus on the lines and shapes that I'm observing. And when I focus on that, my drawing is gonna look more realistic because I'm really just honing in on the spacing and the lines and the shapes. So, Kaler Poss, I'm gonna leave you right there like that. So I'm gonna start with this circle that I see here. And I'm using a pencil. But you could draw with whatever you feel most comfortable drawing with. I chose the pencil because um, I had done some value shading, looking for shadows and highlights and I feel like I can do my best job of capturing those values when I have, um, when I'm using a pencil. My iPad stand is underneath this, which is making a little bump in the paper, so it's a little bit tricky drawing right where I am. All right, so now I'm gonna try to draw that, it's a little bit of a curve. That line right there. I'm noticing that bigger circle shape kind of curves off, curves around there, curves up and around and down. I'm looking at the spacing, how far does that line come down? Kind of curves out a little bit and then comes in. And then I'm looking at this line right here. This line curves up. And I'm trying not to think, think about this as Pasta's mouth. This is just a curve. This curves up. I'm gonna come back up here to this other curved diagonal. I almost started over here, but then I noticed that actually the spacing between these two diagonals is much closer. What do you think? If I like to do it right here, I think that's right. So curving that, 
and this one curves like that and then there is a circle and then there's another circle and inside this circle there's this black circle and I'm noticing a little white fleck so when I shade this in a darker value I'm gonna leave that white circle and that kind of makes this eye come to life So now I'm ready to add some value shading. And when I am shading in an object so it looks realistic, what I like to do is squint my eyes when I'm looking at the object and that really helps me see where the shadows are, where the really dark points are. So when I squint, I'm noticing that it's really dark in there, it's really dark here between the mouth, it's dark underneath here, and there's some darkness on the stick part right here, also around here. And I also notice the parts that are lighter where those highlights are. I wanna show you, I'm gonna shade in this part underneath the eye, and I'm using the side of my pencil. I could turn my pencil like this to get more of the edge. And adding in that darker value. And then to blend the pencil, what you might wanna do is roll up a piece of paper. This is specifically a, um, paper blender, but you can make your own just by using a rolled up piece of paper. And I just kind of rub in little circles and blend out that pencil lead. And it smooths it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up and you can watch me shade in the rest of Kaler Poss.